O time. No surprise there. Quick guard pull from Batista. Less than 10 seconds into the match. On the mat. This is one side of the bracket. On the other, you have Leandro Lowe and Bruno Lima. So whoever comes out the winner of this division, oof, they, definitely, they definitely put the work in for that medal. Bruno Lima. Look at this open guard from, from Batista. Got that tank grip already. Now switches to a deep overhook from this closed guard. It's not the typical kind of attacking positions we see from Gustavo Batista. That's a very technical guard player, right? And uh, as you as you mentioned there in the, in the opening moments, a uh, really refined approach, has a, a very uh, deliberate style, right? So every grip is very meaningful as he will work his way. But Azaki, as scrappy as he can be, also likes to slow things down until it's the right moment for him. And I think uh, we'll see him not make any, any risky moves here as he knows the, the threats that Batista has. You've got to be so careful with Batista because his jujitsu isn't always the most flashy, but it gets the job done. I'm not surprised to see a slow pace here early in this match because Baienz is notoriously explosive. And I think Batista knows that his key to victory is to make Baienz fight his fight. That he sets the pace, that he makes Baienz, he slows Baienz down. And here we see the guard open up now. Azaki in open territory, not wasting any time, throwing out some pressure here. Close to scoring a guard pass. That's a very good recovery from Batista, but in trouble here. Exposes his back in this scramble. Will we see Bayens consolidate the position? That looks pretty close here. Great use of the, of the grip on the pants to secure a little more control of the hips of the, uh, of uh, Gustavo Batista as he goes belly down now. Again, defending the pass, but in a lot of trouble. Yeah, each time he's managed to defend the guard pass, but exposes his back in the process. Very unusual to see high-level competitors comfortable to hang out in this kind of position, Chase, this kind of turtle position. I'm not sure if I'd call this comfortable, but Batista is certainly uh, in a lot of danger here, and he knows that he's trying to get to a little more defined guard, but Batista giving him no space as of yet. Izaki is... Uh, oh, look at this recovery now from... Batista manages to suck up the leg, roll through. That was a beautiful technical escape there. But uh, Payens, I thought he was going to hit that pass. I, I was so surprised the way that that he was able to just basically sit up from that bottom position and they all turn away. We only concede one advantage in that whole sequence. So still very much in the fight here. But that's exactly what I was saying earlier. You give Izaki that space. You open up, and that's what happens. Sound and finds himself right at home here in this position. Izaki had him on the run. But this is much more comfortable position for Batista. He loves the 50-50 guard. He's got some great sweeps from this position. slowed down considerably now in this position. I think that's exactly what Batista wants. <laughs> to get through into this semi-final match, Isaac Baez. First match against Roberto Jimenez. Second match, a win against Murillo 
Amarillo Santana. And then his quarterfinal match, a win against the Brazilian champion, Mateus Spirindelli. Those are three big names in a row. I think Izaki probably had the toughest side of the bracket and yet has passed every test and is against Gustavo Batista, who started his campaign with a win against Jansen Gomez of Checkmats, the rookie. Followed it up with a win over Anderson Diaz to put him into this match. Gustavo, of course, is the number one seed in this bracket, as is the privilege of somebody who made it through into the final of the World Championships, the most recent edition. He was the official gold medalist on the results page in the 2021 World Championships. Shared that honor with his teammate, Lucas Hulk Barboza. This 50-50 guard position really not going anywhere. We've been stuck here for a minute. Zaki inverting here, looking for the back. But Batista has a, what appears to be a good grip on that foot, preventing a full uh, completion there of a bolo. Oh, this is definite back exposure here for Izaki. If Izaki can free his right foot. Yes, you're right, Chasey. He could potentially, but no, I think that... Okay, yeah. Yeah, Batista is uh, out of trouble now. He has both legs controlled, actually. Uh, Gustavo Batista does. He's an underhook. Kind yeah. of a shin grip. That's a... Uh, it's going to be very difficult for Izaki to get out of. You can see there the... Kind of this entanglement. Oh, Izaki is getting further out now. He's kind of clearing his knees out from that. <laughs> see, Gustavo trying to suck him back in. Clock. Just one advantage for Izaki, starting from the feet here. It's Gustavo who pulls. Izaki looking to slide through. He does. Oh. That was so smooth. <laughs> oh, he's going to get the three. There it is. There it is. Three on the board. Oh, that is phenomenal. He came so close to securing the guard pass earlier on in the match, but finally manages to pin Gustavo Batista to the mat. Batista is so strong the way he's able to turn into him and come back up to his feet like that. I feel like Izaki, now he knows he's got that three-point lead. He's like, all right, I can afford to open up a bit here. You want to slow me down? You want to tie me up? Feel free. Because he's so far ahead, it's going to be very difficult for Batista to score back on him and to get a four-point win over him. Because how, how can you score four points on Izaki Baez in kind of 90 sweep, seconds? sweeps him out, more or less, you know, go, go all the way to six. Answer, but uh, yeah. in any case, that pass was so smooth, I almost didn't realize it was happening. You know, I, I, Izaki had a perfect timing on that, great grips, and uh, it was one clean movement. Usually at this level, you have to see several... Uh, attempts and follow-ups and misdirections and things like that, but Izaki just took it right there, got his three points, and uh, is in a dominant position here as far as the lead is concerned with one minute left. Hard to see exactly where the grip is with Batista's right hand, but I think he could be working on a overhook cross collar choke right here. Don't see too many of those nowadays. Last time I remember seeing one, Claudio Calacans put somebody to sleep with it at, well, at the Euro European Championships a few years ago. But I don't know. I think Izaki, man, phew, very difficult to catch him in a move like that. And I feel like Gustavo Batista really, he's hes letting this match slip through his fingers. He's holding on to a choke. Very little chance of trying to get it to uh, to to work. And with 20 seconds, he's not even trying to sweep. He's not even trying to fight. I think he's accepted his fate. 
there it is again. Look at this. He's actually going for a second pass here. Foot on the gas pedal. And that's going to be it. will run out. And what a show from Zaki Bahayens. Bahayens, his hand raised. There it is. Our referee makes it official. Zaki Bahayens is moving on. The middle heavyweight final. Captain of the Dream Art Project, Izaki Bayens, goes through to the medium heavyweight final. Fired up.